What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so off screen, yeah, I did a little bit of training, and uh, no, I did not evolve any of the Pokemon, because I know how much you guys want to see the evolutions. And in the meantime too, I actually got a few good steps, so I can try and get this egg hatched. As you can see, it's making sounds inside. It's going to hatch soon! And again, uh, I think it was like two, maybe three episodes ago, I told you guys, depending on what this is, I might use it on the team. Um, back in my Draven XC711 channel, I did hatch, manage to have hatch a Smoochum that it would evolve into a, what was it, a Jinx. Right here, I don't know. Knowing my luck, it might be a Clef or an Igglybuff. I don't know. We shall see. But the most important thing right here is that Cinder and all the Pokemon right here, I've grown their levels. Um, I did teach him a new move, a Fury Cutter. Might be a little risky, but this is for this next battle right here. Um, Wooper, of course, I got I got it close enough to level 20. It will evolve at level 20. And then Teddy, I did teach it Rollout, but got him to level 20. And of course, Toxic Batman, close enough to level 22 because, yeah, it will evolve at level 22. Taught it Swift, learned Confused Race, so it's becoming much more of a useful Pokemon for us. And Kenya, well, Kenya's Kenya, you know, he's Kenya, whatever. He's He will be delivered soon to somebody else. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to start off with Toxic Batman. And uh, it is finally time to get to the gym because why not? I mean, we all this this hard this hard work outside, and okay, hmm. Come on, come on. What is it going to be? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got an elite kid. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I did not know this was going to happen, guys. I got Elekid as a baby Pokemon, and guess what? I'm going to use him. Hell, it's an Electric-type Pokemon, and it is going to turn into an Electabun. It's going to be a freaking beast of a Pokemon. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so uh, I got to think of a nickname right here. Oh, jeez, and it's a female. Let's see. Eli kid. I can't call it kid. No. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got it. Oh my god. Kid. Kid Thunder. That is exactly what we're going to call it. Kind of boxing. But you know what? Ah, oh, dude, it's not going to it's not going to No, I got to I got to I got to mash it together. Okay. So here it is, guys. Our newest Pokemon, Kid Thunder, the Ele the Elec Kid. Wow, I am. Oh wait, I misspelled misspelled it. But you guys know what I mean. Oh my God, here we go, Kid Thunder. Oh my God, our hard work has paid off. We have got to check this out. We have got to check this out. Okay, so here's Elec Kid, the baby Pokemon. It is a female, oh, and of course, baby Pokemon in this generation always start off at level five. And it has three moves: Quick Attack, Leer, and Thunder or and Dizzy Punch. Eventually, I'll learn Thunder Punch. I can teach it Thunder Punch because the the, the store is right here. And uh, as you can see, its stats are through the roof. Of course, its speed is top notch. Oh my God! I cannot believe I have an Elect Kid. Oh my God! Oh my God! How lucky am I? I, I actually thought I was gonna get one of them normal type Pokemon, but. Wow, can somebody explain how that happened? Comment down below. You know who you are. Comment down below, and yeah, let's get this going. Let let us get let us get this going. I I feel good about this. This is a very good episode right here. So here we are, the Golden Rod City Gym. The leader is Whitney, the incredibly pretty girl. Okay, all right, whatever she says. So here it is, guys. Talk to this gentleman right here. He's like, "Yo, champion of making." This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. Unfortunately, we don't have any. I think you, I think you can trade a Drowsy for a Machop around here. I, I think in the Goldenrod uh, convenience store, or not the convenience store, but the Goldenrod, um, the the Goldenrod store right up there. And you know what? I'm gonna switch train. 
I gotta get this Pokemon up to par, so let's go with Kid Thunder first. So let's talk to this lady. Oh, you're, you're a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Wow, she's kind of scary. She is kind of scary. Okay, so here we go. Beauty, hello, hello. Victoria, she wants to battle, and she's going to come out with her Sentret. You know, I could use Kid Thunder for this. Look at that. It's a good matchup. Okay, so let's go with Dizzy Punch. Oh, dang. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Okay, so... It, it is what it is. Let's just continue doing the, the, the Dizzy Punch. Eventually, this Pokemon will be confused, but with that defense curl, it, it's not going to do us anything. So, we're just going to continue on right here. Come on, Kid Thunder. Let's do this. Do it for the Electabuzzes. And that was a good critical hit right there. And it is finally confused. Oh, my God. This Pokemon is a huge blessing, and you missed... Let's finish him off with a little quick attack. Oh my god. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Confused no more. And jeez. Okay, so I gotta switch out. We were no, you know what? You know what? Come on, we can do this. Thunder punch or dizzy punch. And that is how you win a match with Kid Thunder. And look at that. Oh my god. Okay, alrighty. Another sentry. Okay, bring him on. You line him up, and we just knock him down. Let's go, Kid Thunder. Let's go. Dizzy Punch. I am loving this Pokemon with its speed. Oh, my God. And uh, this is probably where we're going to have to switch out because it can only hit so much. So let's go with Lucky right here. Oh, my God. This is a very good episode. Very, very good episode. And uh, you miss. So let's go with that headbutt, and uh, that quick attack still hits us. Let's go, Lucky. Finish him. Not a fatality, but you get what I mean. Come on. Let's go, Lucky. Do it for all them Pokemon biatches. That's right. And, well, you know, 78 is 78, and she's coming to come out with another Sentret. I'm going to stick with Lucky right here. This is Lucky's battle right now. Let's go right ahead and use that headbutt, you know, that we taught it, you know, because we can. Oh, yeah. No, come on. We've got to finish this guy off. We have got to. With a headbutt. Sentret. With a critical hit. Finished you off, and there we go. Lucky grows to level 20. You guys know exactly what that means. Oh, my God. It is a good episode. It is a very good episode. It is over. And uh, would you look at that, Lucky is evolving. So after our hard work and contemplating on switching this Pokemon from like either Polyrag or something, it is here. Look at that. Our Wooper has finally evolved into Quagsire, a little bit more powerful Pokemon. And what does she have to say? She's like, wow, you must be good to beat me. Keep it up. So let's go ahead and check out our uh, another one of our newest Pokemon, Lucky. The Quagsire. So as you can see, it likes to wave its little flippers right here. Yes, it's a both a water and ground type Pokemon. And, well, its speed has increased just a little bit more, which is good. And right now, it, its best stats are its physical stats, which is both its uh, attack and defense. So it's a very beefy Pokemon, which is very good. Now, we got to switch it up right here with Toxie uh, Batman because, you know what? We want to evolve him too. But in the meantime... Let's get Kid Thunder in there. I think Kid Thunder evolves at level 30 or it evolves through happiness. I would like to say happiness in this one. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. You know, I'm always wrong about so many things. That's why I have you guys as subscribers. So talk to this beautiful girl and she's like, give it your best shot or I'll take you down. You know, they say such the hot, they say the hottest things ever, but then afterwards they just sound like, wow, evil, just evil, you know evil and here we have Meowth yeah Kid Thunder is not going to yeah it's not going to put up with that so let's go with Teddy right here I don't see oh you know what I probably should have used yeah I probably should have used that okay so this guy goes with a bite but I'm going to go with a rollout he goes with a scratch but I'm still going to go with a rollout you know it increases every single time and that's a very big hit 
trying to lower our attacks, but you know what? It's not gonna it's not gonna happen. Look at that. Bye bye. Bye bye. And Kit Thunder grows to level seven. Well, Teddy, you know, get some experience points because you know he feels loved. And Meowth is coming out. Let's stick with Teddy because he's got that rollout attack. Let's go. Meowth. I wonder why everybody calls it Cyrus. I wonder. I, I'm just being sarcastic, but I wonder. And here goes another rollout attack. It will not end. And that move is super strong. Bye bye. And yeah, look at that. Would you look at that? No! Oh no! My Meowth! I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not sorry. So, let's see what you have to say. I taught Meowth moves for taking uh, any type, taking on any type. Okay, yeah, you didn't expect to take on like a water type, a bug type, and whatever type, and whatnot type. Yeah, you didn't expect all that. So, let's move on to the next category right here. Um, there's one more trainer in here. I would like to evolve my Toxie Batman right now. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead. I, Kid Thunder has experienced like he experiences the taste of what it's like to be a Pokemon trainer. So now let us let the big boys do this. He's like, don't let my po Pokemon's cute looks fool you. They can whip you. I honestly don't believe that. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Last carry wants to take on. Um, well, wants to take me on. And here we have a Snubaru. Toxie Batman, let's go! Come on! Confuse Ray! This is a little more accurate than Supersonic. I am so glad I got this. Now, I actually have a chance to just beat whatever Pokemon I want like this. And yeah, rem remember, I taught it uh, Swift as well, so it will help It will help me out just a little bit. It won't miss at all. So there we go. Swift attack. Takes a lot. You're still confused. Come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Why can't you just hurt yourself? Oh my god. Why won't you just get hurt? Why you no get hurt? And come on. You gotta knock yourself out right here. Really? Oh god. You know what? I don't think confusion is gonna work for me because, you know, here I am. Sorry about that. Here I am trying to figure this out and uh, look at that. Oh, I nearly. Really? Oh, you thought I was weak. Is there any? Is there one more Pokemon trainer in here? One more that I missed. Oh, there's one more Pokemon trainer. Okay, never mind. Okay, so it isn't the end of the world. Let's talk to you. She's like, I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. That is scary. That is so scary. So here it is, another lass, and she her name is Bridget. And uh, she's coming out with her Jigglypuff. I am so glad. So freaking glad that I got Elec in. Oh my god. I was like so close to just not. I was, I was so close to just like saying, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna just leave the egg there because you know what? My, knowing my luck, I'm always gonna get one of those two, uh, two other Pokemon Jigglypuff and Jigglypuff and whatever, or Jigglypuff and, and Cleffa. That's my luck right there, guys. Seriously, my luck. But this one right here. I am so lucky. And there you go. Say goodbye to Jigglypuff. Toxie Batman grows a level 22 finally. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to do anything more. I'm just going to go to Kit Thunder. To Kit Thunder right here because, uh, you know, he needs to grow more. Here we go, Kit Thunder. Let's go with a Dizzy Punch right here. Confuser. Come on. Confuser. And, uh, oh god, why did I do that? <laughs> okay, so I got a little ahead of myself. Let's go with Cinder right here. Let's finish these biatches off. Here we go. Ember attack. And, uh, that does not... Oh, crud. Okay, so never mind. Quick attack! Yeah. That's right. That is right. Okay, and she's coming out with another Jigglypuff. Okay, we're gonna stick with Cinder right here. This is Cinder's battle. Let's do it. Get it with some Fury Attack or Fury Cutter. It's a Bug type attack. Base, you know, base attack of 10, but you know what? It multiplies every single time. Once it increases to 160, then you know what? It's over. It is over. And oh crud. Yep. Well, that disabled it. Never mind. Let's go. 
Ember Attack for the win. All right, okay, look at that. Look at that, okay, so we defeated Bridget. She's like, oh, no, no, no. That's right, and Toxic Batman is finally evolving. Look at that. Wow, it took us, it, we, we struggled with this Pokemon. We really, really struggled and, well, look at that. It is finally evolved into a Golbat and believe it or not, in this generation, guys, if you keep this Pokemon happy, it will evolve once more. Fortunately for me, I yeah, kind of made a faint quite a few times, so it's gonna be a while for me to do that. I did give it a haircut, which is good. Very, very good, and uh, well, it is time. It is freaking time to battle this chick right here, which I, you know, we all dread uh, from the beginning. Okay, so my strategy is gonna be very simple right here. Um, I'm gonna give, I am going to heal, I'm going to heal Teddy and Lucky just in case. And I am going to start off with Toxic Batman. Why? It does have a speed advantage. Actually, we're going to start off with a different Pokemon. Never mind. It starts off with a Clefairy first. But when it comes to Miltank, it is a whole different story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with Cinder first because I want to wipe out Clefairy quick. And then after that, you know, take care of the rest by status affecting this uh, Miltank. So let's go. Let's do this. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone, everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute, super super cute. I think the I think this gym just goes for super cute Pokemon. I don't know why. I do not know why. So let's see what else what else she has to say. Let's see, super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. Okay, she's good. Whatever. Okay, so here it is, guys, our third gym battle. And it is against Whitney, the uh, normal type gym leader right here. And here she starts out with her Clefairy. Look at that, pointing her fingers left and right. Level 18 right here. So, going on to the next screen right here, as you can probably see. Yeah, in all three versions, she does have a Clefairy and a Miltank. Clefairy's at level 18, Miltank is at level 20, Clefairy likes to use Encore, Mimic, Double Slap, and Metronome, so you guys gotta be careful with this guy. If you guys get through this Pokemon first, without any kind of damage, then you guys will be good. Now, going on against Miltank, now that is a very, very difficult Pokemon because it does have Attract. If you have male Pokemon, you will be screwed. It, one of its most powerful attacks is a Rollout. It's a it's an attack that continuously just destroys the Pokemon. Um, what I'm going to try and do right here is I'm going to status effect it, depending on how this goes right here. So here we go, going back. Let's do this. I'm going to start off with Fury Cutter right here because this attack is also just like a rollout. It will increase every single time. And if I manage to hit this Pokemon multiple times without getting uh, interrupted, then I might just keep Cinder. Now, the one thing that I'm worried about is that, yes, Rollout is a Rock-type attack. It will it will do damage to uh, to Cinder since it is weak against uh, Rock-type Pokemon. As you can see, I'm just going nuts on this Pokemon right here. And that Toxic attack does not work. I am so happy. And as you can see, bam! Clefairy's down. Okay, so that was three Fury Cutters. And she's going to come out with her Miltank. So I'm going to stay with Cinder right here. And hopefully I can get some damage off of it before it just like goes ham on me. So here we go, Fury Cutter. Hopefully it just destroys him. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Who's the king of the jungle? One attack, one win. How do you like me now, Whitney? How do you like me now with, with Fury Cutter? Thank you, Bugsy. Thank you, you girly looking mother lover. There we go, guys. We defeated Whitney with just one hit. She's like, Sub, what? You're mean. You shouldn't be so serious. You, you child, you. She's, she's angry. Oh, come on. Quit crying. Wah, wah. Snivel. Hick, you meanie. So, can I get my badge? I don't know. So, if you guys want to beat Miltank, without any fighting type Pokemon that's the way to go so she's gonna be continuing like she's gonna cry like look, look at that she's crying 
So I'm just gonna walk away and then would you look at this? Oh no, you made Whitney cry! It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Okay, well, let's see what you gotta say. Sniff. What? What? Do you want? What do you want? A badge? Oh, right, I forgot. Here's your plane badge. Look at that, guys. We got ourselves the plane badge. It is so plain and whatever, and in all its glory. The plain badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. It also boosts your Pokemon's speed. Oh, and you can have this too. The TM-45. I don't know what move that is. Oh, it's Attract. The move that could have been used against me. Uh, it makes Pokemon full use of its Pokemon's charm. Isn't, isn't it perfect for a cutie, po for a cutie like me? I don't know. I think Sabrina's hot. I think Flannery is hot. And Winona and that chick from, uh, Unova. You're okay, I guess. Hell, so, or Lorelai is freaking hot. Ah, that was a good cry. Come for, come for a visit again. Bye bye Alright, okay, so there it is, guys. We, we want our, our third badge. Easily, just like that. Um... Shoot, I guess that was a, I, you know, I guess I should leave a thank you note to, uh, what's his face? Yeah, to Bugsy for giving us Fury Cutter because it was inter uninterrupted. It hit four times and that, by that fourth time, boom, it just, you know, goodbye. Goodbye to uh, Miltank. I thought I was going to struggle with it. I already had a backup plan with Golbat and everything. And this guy's like, you won? Great! I was busy admiring the ladies here. Man, you and, oh well, me too. So, everything's done. Now, before you do anything else, you gotta go right here because, eh, you know, there's a little something that you need to do. If you go in here into the flower shop, talk to this lady, she's like, have you seen that wiggly tree that's growing out in Route 36? My little sister got all excited and went to see it. I'm worried, isn't it dangerous? Hmm. So it looks like we're gonna have to go and find her and then after that come back here so you guys know what I mean but let's go ahead and take a look at that new badge we got look at that look at that three badges and all we're, we're doing pretty dang good we are we are excellent trainers and to be quite honest this is a good episode a very very good episode our a catched into an elect kid our shoot two of our Pokemon evolved and we managed to be uh, we managed to beat Miltank so easily that, you know what, shoot, I'm, it just ruined all my strategy right there. So, stay tuned, guys. Tomorrow, we will be going, we'll be exploring more of, I guess, Route 35, like, um, you know, bug catching, bug catching contests, you know, that kind of stuff. So, stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode tomorrow. See you guys.